We welcome you to today's program at the occasion of the 10th anniversary of the European Union's expansion to the East. On the 1st of May 2004, 10 new countries joined the European Union. Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Malta, Poland, Slovakia, Slovenia, the Czech Republic, Hungary and Cyprus. Parallel to the economic alliance with the EU, the NATO military alliance with the eastern countries also expanded step by step. Only a few years earlier, as a counter move towards Russia at the occasion of Germany's reunification and Russia withdrawing, the West had firmly promised that NATO would not be expanded any further into Eastern Europe. 1999, this promise was already broken when Poland, the Czech Republic and Hungary joined NATO. Move for move, NATO advanced in the East until it finally, in 2004, reached Russia by including seven more countries directly bordering Russia. Yet even then, NATO's drive to move eastward was not stilled. In 2008, U.S. President Bush declared vehemently at the NATO summit in Bucharest, My country's marching direction is clear. NATO must admit Georgia and Ukraine. Valued viewers, doesn't this systematic, planned expansion of NATO towards the East put the whole current situation in Ukraine in a totally new light? After Ukraine had again refused moving closer to the West in November by rejecting the EU Association Agreement, demonstrations and unrest began, proven to be controlled and financed by the West. This illustrates how this was and is just another step in the given U.S. marching direction. For by toppling the democratically elected President Yanukovych and installing a pro-Western coup government, the opportunity has been created to go through the open door of Ukraine, in the end making it possible to attack Russia. Prerequisites for this are being created currently on various levels. First, the news coverage in Western media concerning the Ukraine crisis has, although the Cold War is over, aimed purposefully to incite the picture of Russia as the enemy and increasingly portrays President Putin as a power-obsessed despot. Second, unnoticed by the public, in January 2014, the most modern tanks on the market were shipped from America to Germany. Also, the British government plans to send most of their total number of tanks to Germany. Why? Third, the Austrian European Union delegate, Ewald Stadler, gives a possible answer to these questions. I quote, There are authoritative circles in America who want war with Russia. They want this now, not 15 years from now. End of quote. He proves this with documentary foot film footage of hundreds of tanks crossing Austria currently towards the east, the origin and identity of which has been disguised. Valued viewers, these facts bring up weighty questions concerning what NATO's actual goals are. Was NATO simply camouflaged as a defense alliance in order to cover up the true expansionist goals? Did NATO expansion towards the east only serve the goal of creating a basis for war against Russia? which in turn further paves the path for one world globalists to set up their new world order? We are thankful for everyone who spreads these counter voices, which are suppressed and silenced by mainstream media, so that these warmongering intentions are uncovered and are made public. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye for now.